let's say someone is watching this podcast right now. They stumbled on it uh, and they're like, okay, I want to start an agency like Cruise doing email marketing, SMS, or even paid ads. Um, but I have no experience. Um, I've never pitched a business owner before. Um, I don't know how to send an email or do paid ads, but this is something that I want to get into for all the reasons that you just listed. What would be your advice for them to go ahead and get into social media marketing? So first thing that I would like, if I had to like start over all over again, the first thing that I feel like would be most important is get, get a skill, develop a skill, become good at it. That way you can actually offer this to a business owner. Mm. It's, it can be a competitive market, but if you stand out in this competitive market, it won't be. So first thing I would do is if someone wanted to get into email marketing or SMS or paid ads is understand the service that you're providing, because a lot of people are not doing that. And they feel like they're just kind of like, they just kind of have to go out and be like, hey, we offer this, uh, you know, this service at this price. And like people get pitched at a lot. So if you understand your service and you're actually really good at your service, that's a really good way to stand out from everyone that, you know, is pitching to these business owners. Um, but more specifically for email marketing, if anyone wants to start an email marketing is get good at emails. Like I said, sign up to create a capture email. So create a like spam email, mm -hmm. sign up to a bunch of newsletters, a bunch of companies that you like, and then recreate them on your own. That way mm -hmm. you get good and get an eye for email marketing. And then, you know, create some designs for some companies and offer them like, Hey, look, this is, I seen that you can improve your email marketing. Here's what I can do for you. I made this for you. Um, you can take it if you want. And a lot of the times companies really appreciate that. Um, but I think like the biggest thing is just take action. A lot of people feel very uncomfortable to do anything. A lot of people feel very uncomfortable to get put into the position of speaking with business owners. And the only way that you're going to get good at something is by actually doing it. There's no perfect time to start. You're, you're going to have terrible sales calls. You're going to have terrible meetings with you know companies. And the only way you can get good at it is to just start. And I think that was like the biggest thing that, you know, uh, affected me is I was nervous. Like I did not want to like waste these leads. I did not want to send out these terrible emails. So I wouldn't. And oftentimes like that's, it's, it's not going to get you anywhere. You know, you miss every shot you don't take. Like yep. you, you just kind of have to like do it, man. Like 50% <laughs> of the battle. I, I, I've heard Grant Cardone said this. I don't know if this is his call, but 50% of the battle is just showing up, bro. So exactly. it's like, get started, just get started. That, that's very true. I remember when I started pitching clients, I'm like, oh, this video doesn't look too good. I'm going to redo it. And then I redo it two takes and then I just give up and we'll leave it off for another week. It's mm -hmm. just like, get mm -hmm. started, right? Just, just begin, you know, obviously first time starting, it's not going to be the best, uh, you know, maybe this podcast, I'm going to laugh at it, you know, like, looking <laughs> back at it, I'm going to laugh and say, oh my God, you know, I could have done so many things better, but the point is to just get started. Um, so I agree with you a hundred percent. Uh, let me ask you this. Let's go a step further. Like what resources? So, okay. Someone is looking to get into email marketing. They're going to go ahead and get started. They're, you know, sign up to some, uh, newsletters, uh, they'll, you know, pitch a few clients and show them, Hey, you're not doing email marketing. Here's what we can do for you. But what resources would you recommend for them as well? Whether that's people online uh, on YouTube that teach email marketing, Clavio marketing, or, uh, there's a web, there's a, there's a website called meal.com that I recently found out, found out about. And I think it's, it's a game changer. Uh, but is there any other resources that you could, uh, provide, uh, people listening that would, uh, help them cruise? So the, Funny enough, like most of my learning came off of Twitter. Like I learned, wow. yeah. So I learned email marketing solely off Twitter. Like I, I started with Chase Diamond on Twitter yes, Chase. Uh, or Dimon or something like that. Yeah. Um, And I just like read through a bunch of his like pinned tweets, a bunch of his threads and stuff like that. And really just surrounded myself with all this information. And then I followed a bunch of email marketing guys on Twitter. And I just started implementing that like right away. Like I started implementing it. And the moment I did, like I said, so before I took email marketing seriously, I was already doing email for one particular client, but it wasn't like nothing major. Like I was just like, okay, send out this email here and there, but I never took it seriously. So I never seen the potential. And then once I got onto Twitter and I started actually implementing this and, and doing all the things that they, they spoke about in there, like the service just like got so much more better. And I was like, holy shit, like I can wow. make, like this really improved my service. Uh, it's easy. It's not easy, but it's like, it, it's, 
it's less stressful than Facebook for us. And like, I can redo this for a bunch of other people. Wow. So just wow. start off on Twitter, follow a bunch of email marketing people, and then just start implementing it. Like there's so much value out there. Like there's so many people out there giving just like little nuggets for free, get started on there. And like, it's, it's just, it, it's, it's insane how much value I've gotten from it. You know, you're the, um, I had a, a interview with uh, Jordan uh, last week and he told me, he was like, you need to get on Twitter, man. He was like, Twitter is where it's at. Like, especially like for the agency and growth partner space. Um, so you're the second person that mentioned Twitter. So um, I recently created an account. Um, to be honest, I haven't been on it too much, um, but I, I never really thought, you know, these people congregate to Twitter. Like I know Chase, you know, and he's a, you know, one of the best email marketers out there, but apparently mm -hmm. even people in the social media marketing space, they're on there providing value. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's huge. But you're the second person that said that has said Twitter. That Dude, it's, it's insane how much value there is out there. Like I said, all of the learning I did off email marketing, like I didn't pay someone to teach me. I learned completely off of Twitter. And because of that, like, it's kind of crazy to think that like I went to, to, to university for two years for mm -hmm. business. Right. And then I dropped out and I made more money because of Twitter than I would have ever made. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Like, university. <laughs> like it's insane to really think insane. about how much, yeah. like, there's so many resources out there. It's endless. Like for you sure. go, yeah. For sure. You need so, to get on Twitter, man. <laughs> so Twitter. Yeah. So by the way, we're going to have our, both of our Twitter <clears throat> handles here. So if anyone's uh, listening to this, definitely give me and Cruz a follow on Twitter. Um, But yeah, man, Twitter. So the, like I said, you're the second person that has mentioned this. Um, I would have. I thought you would have said like YouTube because obviously like anyone wants to learn something, they go to YouTube and I'm sure there's stuff on YouTube that people can learn. Um, but yeah, Twitter, I mean, um, definitely. Uh, I think you, that's YouTube is great. The, mm -hmm. the issue with YouTube is people try to monetize your content. Yeah. So they okay. drag it out for like an eight to nine, 10 Makes minute video. Sense. Wow. And in okay. Twitter, it's just like, it's like short because you have a, a character limit. Yeah. So it's just like Red. what you, so what you would learn in 10 minutes, you read from one minute reading like wow. their Twitter handle. And then you have like already information that like it's written down in paper instead of like not in paper, but like it's written down for you. So you can bookmark it. You can screenshot it. Right. Uh, so you don't need to like yeah. transfer that content off of YouTube onto like a pen and paper because it's already out there for you. So every, everyone wow. on Twitter has done the hard work for you. You just simply like, you know, take that information in and save it. And it's it's so much more efficient than YouTube. YouTube is great, but Twitter is much more efficient. That makes sense, man. YouTube, like you said, people are going to try to create a 10 minute video, monetize, you know, uh, monetize it, make it as long as possible and uh, drag out the information. But with Twitter, it's like, it's essentially like a summary of a book. Mm -hmm. you know, exactly. You the exactly. Whole summary. Exactly. Um, exactly.